it's going to be very hard um, to pull back this race, but we'll see how they go off the line. Red lights on. A little bit of movement on the front row. And the lights are off. Great start by Gary Cunningham on second. Nathaniel Diprose from the outside of the front row cuts across. But it looks like it is going to be Jason Hearn to the lead of this one. Gary Cunningham keeping him honest in second there. Oof. Everyone safely through the first couple of corners you love to see. In this race, folks, is the race you've all come to see. Nathan Finlay on bike 66 and Cadell Friday on bike 87 battling for honours in the Finlay house. Nathaniel Diprose on the inside of the last corner takes the third place prior to the white line. Jason Hearn. These are not, I, I would say they're not the quickest bikes, but they're using all the track at the moment, right out the white line. Jason Hearn pulling away from this one. Two seconds ahead of qualifying is quite imminent. This was going to happen, but it looks like Gary Cunningham, uh, Paul Ellis and Nathaniel Diprose in a bit of a battle here for the last steps on the podium. One of those boys is going to be very disappointed to land off it. Um, and the battle we're all watching, um, Cadell Friday and Nathan Finlay. Uh, it looks like Cadell is ahead at the moment. Cadell. Nathan Finlay falling right behind him. We talked to them after qualifying. Um, a pretty hard effort to get anywhere near him, Nathan Finlay said. Cadell Friday has been on a run of form like no other, akin to Argentina at the Soccer World Cup. Cadell Friday to the front end, bouncing around, leading the Jixa 150 class at the moment, followed a distant second of at least half a second by Nathan Finlay. Hasn't got the stones, I don't think, to make a move. Cadell Friday, oh, up the inside goes Sean Parker, relegates Nathan Finlay back another position that's giving more breathing room to Cadell at the front of this Jixa 150 race. Jason Hearn back to this fight as right out to the white line again, but leading the bucket class by Country Mile. Nathaniel Diprose takes second, Paul Ellis up to third as uh, Gary Cunningham drops uh, off the podium in the space of one lap. Jason Hearn again running away with this one. Nathan Finlay, Nathaniel Diprose takes second. Oh, it's a wide one by Paul Ellis. He opens the door for Gary Cunningham on the outside for turn three and four throws it up the inside. Music from Nathaniel Diprose's ears as he tries to hold on to this second. Looks like his bike is a whole lot um, underpowered compared uh, to Paul Ellis and Gary Cunningham. A little bit on the back foot as well there, but this battle for second rate is on. Jason Hearn in the 40s, 40.3, just leaving them in the dust. Paul Ellis crosses the line um, ahead of Nathaniel Diprose for second. Uh, sitting, sitting his fastest lap of the race, that one, even with the, his uh, mistake into turn two. So, Paul Ellis takes over second place. Nathaniel Diprose in third, Gary Cunningham right on their tail. Nathaniel Diprose trying to look on the outside, got a lapper in the way. Is he going to make all the difference? They no ghost, both negotiate him safely. Um, and the speed of the GBR just pulls away as uh, he leaves the other turn in a battle for third. Cadel Friday still holds off Nathan Finlay um, on track. They're battling for 12th place, but it is the, the front of the Jixa 150 field. 47.5s, great lap times coming in from some on-form riders and Nathan Finlay. Five laps to go as Jason Hearn leaves this one by a very comfortable margin. Um, close to eight seconds. His pacing qualifying quite kind of predicted this would be a one horse race but he has got to do the business so doing the business he is as he comes down the last corner elbow down knee down right to the white line this man has done some laps on a bucket and a few laps around here Daniel Diprose laying on the brakes but he's held up by a lap in there squeezes up the inside just giving some more breathing room to Paul Ellis in second Daniel Diprose currently holding on to third from, from, from Gary Cunningham uh, not really a battle anymore we've got Vegan down to turn one, which is tough to see. His first uh, race win here. Um, and some begrudging Marshall was trying to get that uh, bike off the track. Good to see his A OK though. Enough. A lot of young guys making some debuts today. Saw Nixon Frost out there doing a very good job in the Super Sport race. Vegan, obviously Joe. 
two of those three riders down in turn one. Easy to do. But again, A OK. Great track to learn on this one. One of my favourite tracks in the whole country. Another one, uh, like in Macargo, not a lot of corners, but the quality of corners far outweighs the quantity of them. Nathan Finlay trying to hold him to Cadell Friday here for the battle of the Jackson 150s. We've got two laps to go when Jason Hearn crosses the line. He's coming down the back straight into the last corner now. Still looking all A-OK -okay and on track for Jason. Riding a great race out front, it's got to be said. Very consistent lap times in those 40, uh, 40.3s. Still having to pick his way through traffic. Um, it's a long look back to Paul Ellis in second and Gary Cunningham takes over third place with two laps to go from Nathaniel Dipros. So it'll be really interesting to see uh, who ends up in the last step of the podium. Cadel Friday has a bit more of a lead on uh, Nathan Finlay in the, in the battle for Jixxer Cup supremacy as they get rounded up by Gary and Nathaniel for that last step on the bucket podium. They can get stood up, that is not going to help his cause. Cadel Friday sailing off into the sunset as we see onto the last lap comes Jason Herm right over the white line. He is so far ahead, he does not need to be running the sort of risks, but he is just for fun. Um, Paul Ellis actually closing in a little bit in the last couple of laps. Nathaniel Dibro is on the inside with one lap to go. Their battle for third is not over by any means. Jason Hearn uh, rounding turn three with a couple of corners to go. But this one is his win all sewn up. Oh, massive moment there for Gary. He's held up by a lap is into the first corner. Um, and that looks like it may seal the deal um, for third place on this podium. Jason Hearn coming into the last corner. Over the bumps, navigates it safely over the line, and it's a first one of the day for Jason Hearn. Second place, we've got Paul Ellis. Paul the jugs by the time he gets here. And across the line he goes for second. Well done. Nathaniel Dibros does hold on to third. Good race craft there from Nathaniel um, to grab third on the line over Gary Cunningham. And the race of the day we all came to see. Cadel Friday across the line, 12th on the road, 13th for Nathan Finley. And that's second for Nathan Finley. He will never live this down. His son, Cadell, has beaten him across the line. Completely understandable. We've got a young rider with a lot of potential on the rise, Cadel Friday. And a senior um, has had a three-day pass to get out of the rest, rest home to prepare his bike and, to, um, um, and to, to get on the track today. So um, shout out to Raymond Healthcare uh, for letting Nathan Finlay on the track today. Really appreciate it. But a good win there for um, Cato Friday. Well done.